The Qur'an is unmistakable. It frankly, as a revolutionary guide always is, assails them by saying, إِنَّكُمْ وَمَا تَعْبُدُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ حَصَبُ جَهَنَّمْ أَنْتُمْ لَهَا وَارِدُونَ يَنْصُرُ اللَّهُ مَنْ يَنْصُرُهُ وَإِلَّا وَلَّهُ كَيْفَ نَصَرَ الْإِمَامَ الْكُمَيْنِ وَمَنْ مَعَهُ لماذا لم ينصر غيره؟ أما من يظن أن النصر بعد أن يأس من نصر الله فأخذ يبحث عن النصر عند ميشيل والبعث العراقي فكيف يزعم بعدها أنه يدعو للإسلام وأنه مسلم؟ Fortunately, the ulama in Iran represented almost a time capsule. This capsule, the time capsule in Iran, remained totally unaffected by the hurricane of kufr that passed through the history of Iran. برای که در قانون اساسی ما اینه که در همه جا هر ولی فقیهی که از جانب خبرگان تایید شده اون رهبر رسمی مردمه و قدرت هم دارد و می تواند این کار رو بکند این هذا وعد هذا کلمی الان my talk right now will not take anything from my time afternoon so I will have whole half hour Five minutes? No, thank you. By the impact of the Islamic revolution in Iran on the Islamic movement, we mean the, on how far has the Islamic revolution influenced the activities of the Islamic movement elsewhere outside Iran? And that is precisely the issue. The revolutionary figure of the Prophet has faded away. His military and combatant nature does not exist anymore in the minds and hearts of the bulk of those who purport to follow him. Therein lies the task of rehabilitating the revolutionist character of our supreme guide and teacher, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam.